What is up, everybody? If you remember, probably about two years ago, this company, Asdome, they sent us a camera. It was a three camera setup. It was a camera for on the windshield, one that faces forward and one that faces towards you, and then a third camera that attached in the back. They all Bluetooth together to an app on your phone, and uh, it was really cool, but I didn't really use it much because of all the wires. I should've got a hard wire kit, whatever. Fast forward a couple years, now we're in San Antonio. We're in the biggest city I've ever lived in, biggest city uh, my old lady's ever lived in. Um, so this is actually perfect. They hit me up, asked me if I wanted to try out their new unit. So the camera setup that I had goes into her truck and now I have this to try out. So this is the uh, first time I'm actually seeing it. Uh, hopefully it came with a um, SD card so we can actually kind of maybe try it out today. But, uh, oh wow. Wow, that's actually really neat looking. Oh yeah, so this will slide in. The other one had like magnets, so you could like pull the one camera off and let's just bring this up close. That is a, that is a big unit. <laughs> wow. Neat. All right, let's see what else is in the box. There's no SD card in it, but uh, oh, it just turned on. I must have some type of built-in battery too. Very cool. Let's see, uh, we got the socket for it. See, that's the thing. I'm not gonna run something where I have cables hanging everywhere and they make a kit you can buy separately for, uh, what's it called? A hard wire kit. So I don't have to look that up, figure out how the 8Y guys are doing that. Looks like this part goes into this, but this light goes into this, boom. And then this should like rotate. Yeah. So this will go up on the front. Neat. Very neat. Long. Roll long. Nice cable here. Boom. Yep. And it looks like, oh, trim removal tool. And then they even give you like the little 3M clip so you could like, you can hide the wire, which is actually pretty smart to do. What else? We got this huge, thick book on uh, what all it can do. Wow, there's a lot in here. Oh, it connects through Wi-Fi on your phone. Impact detection, parking mode, time-lapse parking, 24-hour parking, loop recording. Goes up to 1280 by 720, or no, sorry. Uh, 2880 by 2160. Um, 24 FPS or 60 FPS, so that's pretty cool. Got exposure settings, wide dynamic range, time lapse. You can uh, motion control, auto power on off. Wow, there's a lot going on here. It even shows you how to like route the cable so it's not in your way up the A pillar. Of course, all, all the things you'd want to. I guess uh, I think I have a spare SD card. We'll go for grab an SD card and plug this in. See what it's about. All right, guys. So uh, I recorded a small clip here. And it's it's crazy because the viewing angles on the screen are, I'm not going to lie, they're, they're, they're pretty awful. Um, just You almost have to close one eye to be able to look at the screen because it gets so bad. Um. With the screen, I mean, you're not really going to be watching the videos from the screen, right? You're going to pop that SD card out. You're going to pop it in the computer or whatever and send it to insurance or what have you or transfer it from this to your phone. There's an app, connects via Wi-Fi, um, really easy to use, really simple. You got menu, up, and then that's like a, a lock button for just to lock the screen there in the middle. You got down and OK. Um, long hold on certain buttons, do extra things. Um, yeah, like there I can delete and you go through settings or hold this should bring us back to live this is on the, f the 4k um version and you can like zoom into things this is hard to do you can, oh that's backwards I think. you can like zoom way in up to that far seems like a solid unit not gonna lie um the screen is really junk, <laughs> but seems like it could be 
a halfway decent unit. It doesn't help, I got a lot of glare too. Since uh, we got all this extra lighting in the garage now, which is super dope. But I set it up here. Um, I guess tomorrow on the way to work, on the way home, I'll plug this in, get a couple recordings, and then I'll just add them to this video and we'll see what you guys think and what I think. And if we'll actually wind up using this thing, if I am going to use it, I'm going to buy the hardwire kit, hardwired into the stuff up here. Um, should be pretty simple, but for now, it's, uh, it's interesting, that's for sure. <laughs> well, we're here doing our little cold start. I've actually had this hooked up and wired in for over a day now, and I don't even see the wire when I'm driving. You know, I'm just focused on my little bit. I don't really see it. Um, whatever, I'll still get a hard wire kit. It's actually recording right now. It seems to be doing a pretty dang good job. I even I let it record this morning on the way to work in the dark. So we're gonna pull the footage off the SD card when we get back to the house today. Um, one thing to note, it says to use like a U3 or better card. And this card is from, I don't know, probably damn near 10 years old and it's only a U1. So I don't know if we can write fast enough for the quality we're requesting. I, I don't know how that SD card stuff works, but um, if the video was choppy, it might be because the SD card. And I meant to pull the SD card out of the other camera um, but I forgot, so hopefully it's good. Don't mind me here, I'm about to make me a peanut butter milkshake. I just wanted to look real quick, I pulled this, um, this is my other one, and so it records forward and out, which actually could be kind of cool for like random vlogs, like if I just wanna hit record on the go, it's already plugged in, facing both ways. Records two different videos at the same time, and audio on this. This one's not recording audio for some reason. Not sure why. Uh, this one is about $100 and this one's about $200 and they sent me this a while ago. So you guys can pause here if you wanna read more about the two videos. It's actually like they sent a third camera with that. So it does three at once. Kind of funny they show like, they show like a Supra down here. Yeah, <laughs> like the concept Supra, it's pretty funny. Um, yeah, so there's all that for that one. And then the other one, this one, some of the, uh, specifications. Anyway, there's a nice app and go through all the settings. See, this one has all these really good settings on it and stuff. Like you can set, uh, you want a three minute loop, a five minute loop. Uh, like I showed you guys, it has that zoom function and all that. This doesn't have all that. It just does whatever it wants, I guess. <laughs> and it needs to, I'm going to go back out there and, and, and play with it some more. But, um, yeah, I might, I might just throw this one in the car. I don't know. We'll see. I feel like now that they sent me this, it kind of reminded me that, hey, like, I should probably really have a dash cam in the car. I just hated the wires. I meant to get the hard wire kit. A while back when they sent me this one, and I just didn't because I'm a dummy. So, might just go ahead and, uh, well, I'll email them. See if they'll send maybe two kits over for that. Or they even have, like, um, an even higher range here with these touch screens. Like, this one's 250. Three channels. So, this has, I guess, an interior facing and an exterior. Yeah. So interior, outside, and out the back, which is not what I would want. I don't want a camera out the back. I just don't want, I mean, I would like it, but I don't want to run another camera out the back. This one's touch screen, also 4K. Anyway, I'll drop the link in the description and we will plug this in for a day and see how we like the, uh, the night driving and stuff in the morning compared to this one. We'll compare the quality and see what we're gonna do.
Well, guys, there you have it. Uh, both cameras, a little comparison. Um, so the older camera, like I said, is like 200 something dollars, uh, especially if you add in the third camera that points out the back window, but I've never used that, so I'm sorry. You don't get a comparison on that. Well, there really, there wouldn't be anything to compare it to anyway. Um, I think the quality of both of these, they're a little bit different, like especially looking at this last clip when I put one over the other. Then again, like the sun that day, like the brightness is way different. I think the newer one's a bit, a bit more clear, honestly. Um, but I really like the slimness of the older one. And, and it also has a front, a camera that faces me, which also kind of sees out the back. So I think I'd prefer that one. Now, I don't know if that's worth twice the price. But uh, I think they're both great. They both have the same menu settings and you just, just about any setting you'd want to change is in there. The app is really good. Um, and I don't really see any downsides to either one. I've never had any other dash cam to compare to these. I also am going to buy that hardwire kit. So there'll be a video on that in the future if you're even interested. Um, what else do I got? Just if, if you want to check one out, there'll be a link down below. Um, help brother out. Maybe they shoot me a couple bucks for you guys buying things. I don't know. I mean, for a hundred bucks to get a dash cam, especially if you live in the city, like there's a really a lot like, you know, there's super expensive dash cams out there. And for a hundred bucks, you can see, uh, I mean, how the quality is there. It's, it's for a hundred bucks. I think it's, I think it's better than what you pay for on a hundred dollar unit. Now the $200 unit, I don't know if it's worth that price. But the $100 one, I definitely think so. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, we'll be back to our reg regularly scheduled type of videos come next week. February has been a mess between family and surgery and this, that, and the third. But uh, we'll be back to real car stuff real soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop.